بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد الصحابة رضي الله عنهم left us a legacy their way of life their sacrifices in front of us when Sahaba were invited to give a description of Islam in front of Rustum as Azad ibn Amir رضي الله عنه entered he was told that leave your weapons. Imagine being invited to the White House, to the Grand Parliament. He said, إِنِّي لَمْ آتِكُمْ فَضَى الصَّلَاحِ بِأَمْرِكُمْ وَلَكِنِّي أَتَيْتُكُمْ حِينَ دَوْتُمُونِي You have invited me. You have not come on my own will. Otherwise, I'm gone. So he was given permission. And as he entered, his sword was renting the plush carpet as he came in front of Rustum فَقَالَ لَهُ مَا جَاءَ بِكُمْ Why have you come? Why have you come? His words needs to be written in gold ink and he said Allahu ibta'athana We have not come it's not our own will, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent us, means we have been sent by Allah. We are the representatives of Allah and His Rasul. We are the ambassadors of Allah and His Rasul. Allah has sent each one of us on this earth for a great and noble purpose. And when we fulfill this purpose, then a person will see success in dunya and akhirat. Allah will accept that person. Allah will utilize that person. Allah will protect that person. And all the promises in Quran and Hadith which has been mentioned will fall upon that person because they are the chosen ones. And chosen for what? لِنُخْرِجَ مَنْ شَاءَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ مِنْ عِبَادَةِ الْعِبَادِ إِلَىٰ عِبَادَةِ رَبِّ الْعِبَادِ To take man from the slavery and the worship of the creation to the slavery and the obedience to that one Allah worshiping the creation, striving for the creation, doing everything to make the creation happy. He has forgotten that there is a creator of the creation and man needs to change their focus, change their attention to that one Allah. And from this constrained dunya into the vastness one is the vastness of this dunya because when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens up for a person then there's no limit to that opening otherwise dunya will be constrained in all avenues Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave sahaba and opened up dunya for sahaba Allah has opened the whole dunya for us and Allah will make forget dunya vast Allah will make your kabar vast Allah will make your akhirat vast and from the oppressions of all other forms of isms ila adlil islam to the justice of islam farsalana bidinihi ila khalqihi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent us what is deen to the creation linad'ohum to invite them to Allah he is identifying the objective and the purpose of this Ummah that we've been sent to invite and connect mankind to Allah and when something loses its purpose it loses its value this Ummah should have been connecting the creation to the Creator yet they connecting themselves to the creation to the disobedience of Allah from the light and the nur of Allah to the darkness of battle, from the obedience of Allah to the disobedience of Allah, from the closeness to Allah to the distances of Allah. When the summa turns to Allah, then they come with clean slates. And even better than that, Ulaika Allah Sayyadim Hasanat. They come even more closer to Allah when they turn to Allah that even their evil and their bad and their wrongs will be turned into good deeds. Inna al 
that through the sinning of this Ummah they can get Jannah by making Tawbah, by turning, by repenting من ترك لله شأن أو الله خير منها when you leave something for Allah, Allah will give you a better replacement to run away from all forms of disobedience we see music, movies, television, all forms of evil have become rife when a person leaves it and runs away, then Allah will give him a better recompense. Leaving pride and arrogance. Man tawada lillah, rafa Allah, Allah will elevate this person. Awwadahu Allah tamanina, man taraka al intiqam, you can take revenge, leave it. Allah will give you contentment and happiness. مَنْ تَرَكَ لِلَّهِ بَارَكَ اللَّهُ فِي رِسْكِ When a person leaves sin and disobedience and rushes towards obedience then Allah even gives him baraka in his risk. مَنْ تَرَكَ الْكَذِبْ أَكْرَمَ اللَّهُ بِجَابَةِ الدُّعَى person leaves speaking lies they can become mustajabu da'awat and the du'as can get accepted because that same tongue that is asking Allah how can a tongue expect it's du'as to be accepted when it is laced with lies and deception. So we need to turn to Allah, we need to find Allah. They say there was one youngster who was in love with a certain girl and her parents sent her somewhere to do some work and he approached her. And he expressed inni uhibbuka hubban shadidan. He expressed his love for her. So she said, La tafal inni akhafullah. There is the right way of doing it and the wrong way. We could go down the path of evil and wrong, but for now, since this ambition of evil is come in our hearts, we need to turn to more to Allah. He went in regret and remorse, said, I need to go and change my life and go to the area where the pious people are. And he went in that direction. And as he was going, he met a very pious old man. And it was very hot, the heat was scorching. So as they were traveling, the old man said that I will accompany you wherever you are going. But at this juncture, since we are alone, it's good for us to travel together. Then we can part our ways. Then a cloud came and suspended and gave them shade. So he thanked the old man saying, It's true, your barakah that Allah has given us a shade. The old man made sugar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As they came to the juncture of departing, the cloud followed the youngster. The old man approached the youngster and said, I thought so it was because of me. What amal you did? He said, I had an opportunity of committing zina and breaking the command of Allah. I turn to Allah, this is the reward, I presume if Allah can protect a person from the heat of dunya because they made taqwa and abstain from guna, won't Allah protect them from the azab of qabr? Won't Allah protect them from the torment and the day of qiyamah? Won't Allah protect them from the heat of jahannam? So this ummah is a very special ummah that their hearts are connected to Allah. They say in the Bani Israel, Kana Abid wa Kana Kad Utiya Jamalan wa Husnan. There was one pious person who was given the looks, the captivation, the handsomeness, he was striking. And wa kana yamalu al kifaf biadihi fa yabi'a. And he used to make baskets and go house to house and sell. That was his occupation. فَمَرَّ ذَاتَ يَوْمٍ بِبَابِ الْمَلِكِ One day he passed close to the palace فَنَذَرَتْ إِلَيْهِ جَارِيَةِ لِإِمْرَةِ الْمَلِكِ And the uh, assistant of the queen seen him. And when she seen him, she noticed مَا رَأَيْتُ أَحْسَنَ مِنْهُ She noticed his handsomeness. And she went to the queen and said, There's somebody who has been endowed with beauty I've never seen. So she said, Adakhilihi alayya, bring in front of me, fa'ajabaha. When she seen him, she was infatuated. She could not handle. 
and said to the Khadim, bring him in, find an excuse, tell him we'll buy his baskets. As he came in, they locked the door. And she told him, Nuhnika and Bayi Hada, we will free you, you will pay you whatever money you want, you name the price, but you need to fulfill our ambition. I will fulfill my desire with you. He refused and she insisted. And when he realized that there's no way out of this year and the doors were locked, and they said, Naqdi hajatana minka, we will do what we have to do. So he made a plan, he said, Hal fawka qasrikum hadha mawda'a, is there any place, special place, if you want to comment the guna, let me get ready and prepare myself. So they said, sure, there's the penthouse. So he got into the room, the palace penthouse, and he locked the door, and he told him, give me some time. فَأَخَذَ يُعَاتِبُ نَفْسَهُ And he started rebuking and scolding his nafs. وَيَقُولُ يَا نَفْسْ أَنْتِ مُنْذُ سَبْعِينَ سَنَةً تَتْلُبِينَ رِضَ الرَّابِ الْكَرِيمِ حَرِيسَ عَلَى That for 70 years you've been searching and seeking Allah in the brightness of the day. You never disobeyed Allah. In the darkness of the night, you submitted to Allah and he admonished and reprimanded his nafs saying, now one moment will come and you will wipe out your entire life's amal. Wallahi, I take an oath, you are khainah, you have breached this trust. If today on this opportunity you will destroy and you will ruin and you will shatter your life of dunya and akhirah. So he thought, so I cannot compromise on my deen. So when that WhatsApp message comes, when that swipe opportunity comes, when that website opportunity comes, in the darkness when you can go into that room, when you can go into those doorways, when you can go into that masjid in disobedience, when nobody is watching you and you think so you can get away. Remember Allah is watching us, we cannot get away. Alam ya'lam bi anna Allah yara. Don't they know Allah is watching every action. He decided he will jump from the penthouse and kill himself. Death is more beloved to me than disobeying my Allah. We should make this muraqba all the time. Am I ready to make my Allah angry and declare war with Allah? So he got ready to jump. Allah told Jibreel, Labbaik wa Sa'adaik, I am ready Allah, what is the command? Allah told him, Abdi yuridu an yaqtula nafsahu firaran min sakhati wa ma'asiyati. He is ready to kill himself and run away from my anger. And disobey and my disobedience, La Yusibuhu Makruh. Make sure no harm comes to him when we run from Allah, when we run from sin, when we run from disobedience, Allah's unseen help will come, Allah's protection will come. The Ummah needs to run to Allah and see how Allah will protect them from every evil, from every plotting of battle. As the youngster jumped, فَبَسَتَ Jibril, جَنَاحَهُ He opened his wings, فَأَخَذَهُ And he grabbed him, كَمَا وَضَعُهُ الْوَالِدَ الرَّحِيمُ وَلَدَهُ Like how a father, a mother who is putting a sleeping child in the cot so they don't wake up, Jibril alayhi salam put him nicely onto the ground. فَأَتَى إِمْرَأَتَهُ He came to his wife, he left everything, it was dark. His wife said, Aina Thaman, where is the Prophet? I see you sold everything today, what a good transaction. He said, no, nothing has happened. Then he told his wife, tonight we'll make sabr. Rather I make sabr and stay hungry than fulfilling my desires and commit guna and break in Allah's commands. 
like that we'll get opportunities to make millions and billions, but we will compromise the deen of Allah. Never ever let it happen. We will lose all the barakah. And he told her, O oh, me, first jury, let go and light the oven. I don't want to see our neighbors. They might feel that we haven't let anything and they will feel the difficulty that these people are hungry. So she went to let light the oven. And the neighbor's wife came and she said, we need some fire, some flame. So she told her, go into the kitchen and take the fire. The neighbor's wife came running out and she said, you are here talking. I can see that all your bread and food is ready and it's full, the oven is full. It's going to burn. She went to the kitchen and she seen that the oven was filled with fresh, fresh bread. So she started collecting it. She came to the husband. She was also the one that was connected to Allah. She said, Inna rabbaka lam yasna' bika hadha illa wa anta alayhi kareem. You did some good deed today. You can see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored you. Ask Allah, Udu Allah yabsuta alayna baqiyata umrina. That Allah must open up for us dunya now. So he said, be patient, be patient, falam tazal bihi. But she insisted and insisted. And in front of a man, sometimes he doesn't stand a chance. He said, no, I'll do it, no problem. If you want dunya, then have it. In the darkness of the night, he started his tajud. When he came for dua, he said, Inna zawji Allahumma salatni. My wife has asked me, I don't want it. Fatiha. Give her whatever she wants so that her whole life she sort, sorted out. Fan faraj. The roof opened up. Fanazalat ilayhi. A emerald fell down and lighted the entire room. So he shook the wife's legs while she was sleeping. And he said, wake up, wake up, take what you want. So she said, why are you waking me up? Ali hadha ayqathani. Are you waking me up for this year? Are you, are you troubling me? I'm busy sleeping. He's wondering now. I didn't want to do it. Now I did it. Now all that she wanted her whole life and she was dreaming about. I cannot understand her. What's the problem? She said, no, I seen a dream. I seen a beautiful palace. And in that palace was a throne. Masfufa min dhahab. It was made of pure gold. Mukallila bil yaqud. And it was studded with rubies and emeralds, but there was a flaw. So I asked Liman Hada, this beautiful garden's palace, this throne, who does it belong? I was told, Hada Majlis Uzo. This is the Majlis and the gathering of your husband. But why is there a flaw in this throne? So I was told that what you had it for. That reward that you wanted in dunya? I said, Mali haja fi shayin. I don't want any flaw in our Jannah. Udu rabbaka fada'a rabbahu faraja'a. So then he made dua again. That strange ajib. Now I'm giving you what you want and now you're not happy. She said, I'm not happy for any shortfall in our akhirat. Ask Allah to take it back. So we need to turn to Allah. إِذَا تَابَ الْعَبْدُ مِنْ ذُنُوبِهِ When a person makes توبة أنسى الله حفظته Even the farishas ما ينفذ من قول إلا لديه رقيب عتيد Every word that we utter There's an angel writing it Allah makes the angels forget وأنسى ذلك جواريح His body poor organs Also forget اليوم نخدم على أفواههم وتكلمنا أيديهم وَتَشْهَدُ أَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ When their hands will speak and their organs will speak تَشْهَدُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَلْسِنَتُهُمْ وَأَيْدِيهِمْ All of this will speak. Allah will make those organs forget. And وَمَعَالِمَهُ مِنَ الْأَرْضِ Wherever he committed guna, that will be forgotten. حَتَّى يَلْقَ اللَّهِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَلَيْسَ عَلَيْهِ شَاهِدٌ مِنَ اللَّهِ بِذَنْبٍ You will meet on Allah on the day of Qiyamah. And there will be no witnesses, no testimony free from guna. May Allah give us tawfiq. 
of repenting and turning to him. Wa akhiru dawana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin.